In this video, we're going to talk about review questions and pop quiz questions. If you've ever worked with any student on math uh, or grammar or anything that's conceptual like that, uh, it could be your own child, it could be somebody else. If you've ever worked with a student who's struggling with it, what you've probably seen is that the really critical things, even when a student learns them, they just kind of forget them really, really quickly. The way that most uh, schools handle this is they give students about a thousand times as many problems as they would actually need. And the idea is that the student would then hopefully retain the relevant information. This obviously never works because many students who don't have inherently great mathematical instincts end up memorizing, like learning the wrong 1% of it and learn some random silly stupid stuff, don't actually match the, match the stuff that matters. and. It, it leads even more to a total lack of understanding what's happening in, in math. And this also applies to grammar, you know, reading, chemistry, physics, and anything where the, that's very conceptually based. So at Vora Method, how do we present, prevent this short-term non-learning? How do we make sure that students are learning permanently rather than temporarily? So I'm going to show you using this problem over here. This is the, the first problem in the math sequence. And, and suppose that a student does this, they get this problem wrong. Now, if you remember the responsive worksheet video, I'm going to give the student, I'll, I'll look and see what type of error the student made and give the student a worksheet to address that error. But that's not all I'm going to do. Here's what's really important. Go ahead, take a look at this. Well, what I've done is I've now turned, as, as if a student struggles at all with a question, we turn that question into a review question. So we'll give the original question, the, the student, say the student gets it wrong, then the student's going to do a responsive worksheet, uh, or maybe a few responsive worksheets, and they're going to come back to the original question. Suppose they get it right, we're not done. We've turned it into a review question, and that means at the beginning of every single class, uh, the student's going to begin with that review question and any other review questions that the student has. And, that, and the review question is any question that a student struggles with at all. Uh, whether they get it wrong or whether they just like, you know, takes them a long time or whatever it is. If there's any struggle at all, we're going to turn that into a review question. And we're going to begin every single class with that to make sure we're getting the repetition we need to make sure that those skills are becoming <clears throat> permanent. And of course, you know, if a student you know gets it wrong on a review, we're going to do the responsive worksheets, build up the underlying skills as, as often as we need. So we don't really give the student the option to short-term memorize and then forget. We just keep on repeating until it's permanent. Now, at some point, uh, a, a teacher might say, OK, well, you did this problem pretty quickly this time. It seems like you got it. All right, great. So now what are we going to do? We're still not done with the question. That's, cr that's critical. We're going to turn that. Uh, it's going to automatically turn into a pop quiz question. It's going to come up 20% of the time. And once the student has really shown that they can master that along with, with the along with any underlying skills, then, on, and only then, does it become a question that the student doesn't need to do anymore. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, if I struggle a lot with math, I might spend the entire class doing just review questions. That's actually true. That's absolutely right. And that's what you need to do. Math is going to be built on the strength of your foundations. It's going to be built on how well you can do the core basics. It is not built on how well you know some random out there formula. And what's true of math, it's also true of chemistry. It's also true of physics. It's also true of grammar. If you, if you don't understand what the subject of a sentence is, happening to know the correct way to use an M-dash it's not really going to be so terribly useful. You need to know the basics, the fundamentals, and build on those fundamentals, not start memorizing random and not very important, very or not very important or high value formulas. Uh, so you should expect, if it, we're, we're not going to let you forget anything important. If we have to repeat a, a question, you know, every single day for a year, or we'll repeat every single day for a year. And the result of that is going to be that in much less time than your school failed to teach you whatever subject it is. Whether they failed to teach you algebra, they failed to teach you geometry, or they failed to teach you grammar, in which they probably did in a, over a period of five or six years, in a period of a, you know, a few months, maybe a year, we're going to accomplish what they could not accomplish here at Vore, at Vore Method. We're going to accomplish what your school could not accomplish in five or six years, and we're going to do it in, in a few months to a year. So expect to see a lot of review we don't teach things just to show you a thing so that you can forget it. We make sure that whatever you learn, you learn permanently.